Sometimes in life, we collectors and players of brass instruments are faced with a sort of cost-benefit analysis. For instance, let's say you play on a cheap but utilitarian instrument that gets the job done. When you encounter an instrument of that same type that you might like more, or it has greater value to you, but it is probably going to be significantly more expensive, do you continue to play on the cheaper one because, again, it is the utilitarian choice and it does the job, or do you operate at a financial loss so as to be able to play this instrument that has greater value to you? This was the decision I faced when I restored a Con 6D French horn, their intermediate model, and I liked it a decent bit, but it was not quite the ideal choice, and when I was presented with the chance, I ended up trading it in, along with, you know, half a boatload of cash, for the Con 8D, their flagship professional model. And that is a choice that, to this day, I believe was justified in the sense that I have a much more pleasant French horn playing and recording experience. Now, enter today's two contestants, between which a decision must be made fairly soon. Closer to me is my Austin Custom Brass Doublers model flugelhorn. They are fairly cheap as far as the flugelhorn market goes, and once again, sort of the utilitarian choice. They do great at what they're designed to do. And then a little bit further from me is this Getson Eterna flugelhorn, their professional model, and you might happen to notice that it has four valves rather than three. I may have a shot at getting a very good deal on this very nice condition gets an Eterna. The trouble is, I am not particularly swung one way or the other across either side of the fence. And so in this video, I wanna do something a little bit unusual. I wanna provide a few audio samples for you to listen between the two, and then I am not going to provide any judgment on it whatsoever. That is not very standard for my channel. If you're at all familiar with my style of instrument reviews, you'll know that I like to opine heavily on any piece of equipment I am given. However, in this case, I don't want my thoughts sullying yours, especially because my thoughts are muddled and messy and indecisive. What I want are your raw, unfiltered, honest, and unbiased thoughts in the comments below. Really, any observations that you can give me will be of great benefit to me, because while I will potentially get a very good deal on the Getsin Eterna, I will still be operating at a net financial loss, even if... I sell that ACB. That's sort of the situation at hand. So, if you will, please listen to the following audio demos and let me know what you think.
As a final piece of commentary for this video, once again, I'm not providing any opinions whatsoever. I'm just going to provide a few objective differences between the two instruments, which you can read here as you please. I'm not going to, once again, talk about or opine on them at all. This is just for your own perusal if it helps you arrive at a conclusion. Although I'd almost prefer that you ignored all this stuff to my left here and just made the decision purely upon the sound clips you heard earlier. Thank you so much for your help, and until next time, we'll see you on the flip side. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you want to support the creation of bigger and better content on the Samuel Plays Brass channel, have your name featured right here, and a whole host of other perks and benefits, then please consider pledging your support at patreon.com slash samuelplaysbrass. For now, you can find more videos in the end screen cards to my left.